Hey everybody, it is late at night, and I am Norman. The amazing people over at Core Timepieces were kind enough to lend me this super unique watch to review. So let us begin. <laughs> It's late at night, and you're at the bar. You just ordered a drink, and the bartender, who's wearing a Mickey Mouse watch by the way, can't seem to stay off of Instagram long enough to actually finish making your drink. What do you do? You create a watch that has a switchblade for hands. That's what you do. That's right, tonight I will be reviewing the Red Dial Quartz variant of the Seven Deadly Sins watch. So let's flip the camera around and take a look at this beast. So here we have the box that the watch arrived in. Let's get this open and see what's inside. Oh. So this comes in a watch pod, which is new to me. I've never seen these before. I can already feel the weight of the watch. It is heavy. We have the core logo there. Core timepieces here. They've recently gone through a rebranding. They used to go by Sharp Brothers, and now it's Core Timepieces. And they have a watch line called the Fury, and those currently on their website feature the knife that is the Sharp Brothers logo at the 12 o'clock. So if you're interested in that watch, I would pick it up now because this logo is cool, but that little knife at the 12 o'clock is so great looking. All right. Let's take a look. some paperwork that's pretty cool switchblade switchblades are just fun That's cool. Some of the specs there. This model is quartz. It has sapphire. It says that it has Luma Bright, and we'll try that out, but I tried charging it with a flashlight earlier and I didn't see any Loom at all. I know that the automatic version of this does have loom. Um, I watched uh, the review over at uh, Beer and Watches. Excellent review, by the way. I've added a link to uh, Matt's channel down below. Um, 300 meters of water resistance. That is decent for sure. That's awesome. Four time pieces. And here is the watch itself. It is definitely solid. Other than the amazing switchblade hands, that is the first thing you notice. This is just 
the real deal craziness I did not expect it to be this tough and hardcore all right so we'll start out at the band and work our way toward the watch head take a look at this thing so this watch shipped on the NATO and it's really thick really tough 22 millimeters I like that shade of red it's nice and dark ominous and it goes well with the red dial the hardware is really cool I like how it's brushed I've actually been looking for a good NATO strap for my CWC that has hardware similar to this where it's the flat brushed metal some branding here It has the wide tang on there, which is great for NATOs. Then you have that much more surface area uh, to handle the stress there. Some more branding here. Nice. Very cool. Let's look at the watch itself. Those of you who know me know that I wear smaller watches. All of my favorite watches are under 40 millimeters. So to my eye, this watch is gigantic. However, when you look at its specs, it's perfectly within the realm of a dive watch. It's 42 millimeters, 22 millimeter lugs, and I believe it was 14, 14 and a half millimeters thick, which I believe is kind of on par with pieces like the Tudor Pelagos. Again, it's nice and solid. Every, everything is brushed really well too. The brushing looks really nice. Some crown guards. The crown is nice there. I like the edge on the bezel. That's really cool. Action on it is really great. Not really any a little bit of back play, but not much at all. Feels really solid. Now this is a first run, and you can kind of see that the logo's a little off-center there. I believe those were placed by hand, so this particular one, yeah, but everything else is lined up pretty well. Let's look at the crown. This is a screw-down crown. That's so cool that this has uh, 300 meters of water resistance. So the price on these, the quartz one is 249, and I remember I had an Armida that was about that much, but I think that one had 200 meters of water resistance. This is pretty solid here. It screws well. It's nice and smooth. see that that is set to sloth we'll go over the all the fun of the dial in just a moment that is nice and smooth
Setting it feels really nice. The ants move really fast as you're setting them. I'll just put that up there. And you'll notice that it does hack. And boom, we just swapped over to the next sin. It catches the threads really well. Screws in really nice. It is really cool that the whole thing is brushed. Such a good thing to have with the tool watch. I remember, uh, again, the uh, Armida, I specifically had ordered that one with a brushed finish. You could actually choose the kind of finish that you want on it. I would say that this is on par with that watch, and that was a, that was a really quality dive watch. The only reason I got rid of that was uh, its 200 meter water resistance. I wanted 300. Because I'm going to go super deep in the water. Alright, let's flip it over and look at the case back. Because there's surprises there too. So let's pull this strap off and see what we have back here. And look at that. We have sort of a Zen Koan there. If you meet the Buddha on the road, kill him. And of course, this is not a call to violence. The idea there is, if you think you've learned the way, unlearn it. Type of an idea. Very cool. And I know that one of the founders actually owns this book, got it a long time ago, and still has it. So that's the uh, inspiration for the back here. We have some in information around the edge there. All stainless steel. Screw in case back. Again, everything about this is super solid. And at last, the elephant in the room. Let's look at the dial. So there is the Seven Deadly Sins dial. And everything about that is so unique. I love the switchblade hands. Try and get them in the light so you can see them there. That is so cool. And I love the blood drop seconds hand. I'm kind of sad that it blends in so well on the red dial. Although I do like the red dial, that looks great. But that seconds hand looks so cool on the black dial because you can really see it and it totally looks like a drop of blood. And then there's the seven deadly sins indicator. And what's cool is, when they were still able to, before lockdowns and whatnot, the brand, the owners would go out and set up booths at concerts and tattoo shows, art shows, and they would actually have conversations with people about this indicator. Kind of the uh, devil on one shoulder, angel on the other. Are you a rebel and you're going to embrace these things? Or, will you be striving to not be envious of other people? So maybe today, the reminder is to avoid envy. And then tomorrow, maybe it's sloth. You'll have to actually get up and do some of the chores you've been putting off. Very cool. I like the font on Seven Sins. The core logo is pretty cool. I 
that is cool. All right, let's put this thing on the wrist and see what it looks like. So here is the seven deadly sins watch on my seven inch wrist. It is a monster. But again, it's sized like a lot of other divers out there. The band is really comfortable. And with this particular brand on it, the weight isn't too bad. I mean, it's a heavy watch, but it doesn't feel heavy at all when it's on. The red is really striking, and I think it fits the attitude of the watch really well. I do like their black and red theme that they have going on. With both variants of the Seven Deadly Sins watches. So with the quartz, you have three different dial colors that you can choose from. There's the red, they also have a white, and a gray colored one. With the automatic, you have the black variant of it, and I believe the case is black PVD also, so it's, the whole thing is super dark, it's all murdered out, it's pretty cool. Very cool. So for the specifications on this watch, the entire case is 316L stainless steel. It's 42 millimeters as I've mentioned. The crystal is sapphire. Uh, it has a 120 click rotating bezel. Seven millimeter screw down crown. 22 millimeter lugs. This particular model is quartz. However, the automatic has a Seiko NH35 automatic movement in it. The brand also has another line called the Fury Quartz. And that has a Miyota 2353 quartz movement in it. The case is also 316L stainless steel, and that one has a water resistance of 100 meters. The crystal on that is domed hardened mineral crystal. And again, this particular watch has 300 meters of water resistance. As I mentioned, this particular watch sells for $249. The automatic variant is $365, and the Fury is $149. fun and unique watch that isn't just a gimmick, but rather it's a conversation starter. And what I love about this brand is they follow their passion. They had an idea and they made it happen. And they don't just set out to make watches, but rather to tell their story through their watches. So if this watch is your style, be sure to check out their website. I put the link in the description below. And the guys over at Core Timepieces were kind enough to give me a promo code to pass on to you all. So if you use the code Norm sent me, you'll get 30% off of everything on their website. That includes the watches and the NATO straps or whatever you find there. 
And they also have an automatic variant of this watch, but be aware that those are nearly sold out. So if you are interested in that particular watch, you may want to pick it up soon. I want to thank the guys over at Core Time Pieces for lending me a watch that I might otherwise have not encountered. Thanks for watching.